scientists analysing DNA samples taken from hundreds of pregnant women. The only way of testing for Down syndrome with any certainty is a risky method called amniocentesis, which can cause a miscarriage. Now a simple blood test can offer 95% accuracy. What does this mean for expectant mothers? Well, it means that they've got a safer screening method so that if they decide that they'd like to be screened, that there'll be a safer and more effective method. In practical terms, it means that less women need have an unnecessary amniocentesis. The chances of having a child with a genetic condition like Downs increases in older mums, but it can happen to anyone. Better, better to know, yeah, if, if, you, if it's, like, for example, second pregnancy, so better to know in advance and to prepare because we need information if something wrong. So I'm above a certain age, like nearing my 40s. So at that point it was more a question of like, well, is this going to be a viable pregnancy? How is the fetus doing and the health of the fetus? So for me that was important, just going with the eyes wide open to try to figure out what we might be facing in the future. And um, because we don't live in a city where we have family, like trying to make any adjustments if need be and, and things like that. But whilst a more accurate test for Downs means the number of pregnant women risking amniocentesis is expected to drop drop dramatically. There are parents of disabled children who think this brave new world is leading us down a worrying path. Helen's son Matthew has Downs. She thinks the new screening procedure will lead to an increasing number of unnecessarily terminated pregnancies. People with Down syndrome are empathetic, they are kind and that's the sort of thing I would look for in any human being. I fell in my love, love with my husband because he was kind and he made me laugh. Well that's exactly the same as Matthew. Despite Helen's fears, the new test is going to be made available to all pregnant women across the NHS from next year. Nick Wallace, Channel 5 News.